I didn't plan on making a video tonight, but why not? What's the time? 20 to 8. 20 to 8 on Tuesday night. I am soon going to get a shower. I just thought I would catch up with everything that's going on and fill you in on what I can and all that stuff. Um, I don't even know anymore. I don't know what direction my life is going. I feel like I'm just all over the place and, um, a lot. There's this, uh, there's so, I just feel like disappearing sometimes to be honest. Um, I'm trying to take one thing at a time. I'm trying to be very mindful and use my conscious mind and not my subconscious mind. I'm trying to not think about the past or think about the future. I'm trying to not worry. I'm trying to just stay right here in the present. I made my second coffee of the day. I've nursed a head cold for the past three days. The last two days, really bad. Um, I bought a neti pot at Walmart the other night. Um, if you haven't ever tried a neti pot, get one. Um, they run $8 at Walmart. Go in the area where the sinus stuff is and the nasal stuff and the allergy stuff. And it's a little blue tea. It looks like a little blue teapot. And they, you get saline packets in with it and get st distilled water. Use distilled water in it. You take the lid off it. You put distilled water in. You put the packet in. You shake it up. You drain, you use it. It gives you instructions. You tilt your head, you put the spout in here, the water comes out here along with all the gunk. You do the same thing on the other side. It rinses your sinuses. That's helped me tremendously. So try a neti pot. Um, my, um, my man friend, um, He's at paint class tonight. He's been gone and here and gone. He's He pops in, leaves, has a bunch of stuff to do. Um, I haven't seen him as much lately as what I had been earlier. Um, he was away for a number of days, and then we went away overnight. And he's away again doing stuff at his house. Uh, there's a lot of change. I'm tired, I'm worn, I'm worried, I'm scared. I don't know what to do with myself. Any, I just don't know anymore. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, I have an eye doctor appointment on Friday just to kind of fill you in on the basics. How am I doing as, uh, as a single widowed old woman, <laughs> widowed from a, 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 a companion, a partner, a roommate, um, I, uh, some days I do great and some days I do awful. So like the rest of the world, right? Um, so I have an eye doctor appointment this Friday. I haven't gotten my eyes checked in two years. That's because Sky was sick and I just, one, I didn't have the money. Two, I just couldn't leave him alone. And honestly, um, I still don't have the money, but you pull it together and you don't pay something else right away. Or you pay in installments, right? Which I think is what most all of us are doing in the world. So I'm going to get both an, an eye exam and a contact lens exam. Um, I What else is new? Uh, he had an eye doctor appointment today that I went with him just to see how his eyes are. And... Um, He's doing okay enough. He's going to go see a specialist about, he's got some cataracts starting, which go with the age. He'll turn 69. He'll roll into his 70th year, his seventh decade. That all goes with the program. I told him if he needs help, I'll help him with his eye drops. Um, and like I said, he's super busy at his house getting stuff done and taking care of things. And, you know, sometimes you just need a break and you just need time away and all that to figure things out. But overall, I'm doing okay enough. Um, little talks here and there with my son. I'm keeping things very minimal. I need to do that for my peace of mind. For the person who acknowledged my talk about divorce is different from widowhood, 
I've been through divorces and divorces are, you know, it's lawyers and it's messy and it's ugly and it's fighting over the kids and the house and the money and, um, and it's, and it's, it's, it can be awful. And unless you're lucky and you actually like, you know, get, can get along with your ex, it can be brutal. When there's a death and you watch someone you love leave you, whether it's your spouse, your child, your pet, your sibling, your parents, grandparents, whatever, it's it's hard and it's awful and it 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 stings and it hurts for forever. Um, it's a different feel. It's it changed me up big time. Like it changed me so much. I'm. I look around my apartment complex. I kid you not. I look around my apartment complex and I look at how many seniors there are in my complex. And just here in my complex, I go to the corner store and it's there's so many seniors. I'm like, I'm a senior. I'm 65 in three months or something. Um, I look at people older than me and how they're struggling to, you know, use their cane, use their walker, get their groceries, get into their car, get their stuff in their car. I'm like, my gosh, how many people need help out there? I would love at some point to be able to get back to work, doing something, helping people, making their life a little bit easier. Um, I just have just such a different feeling about life in general. Um, my sleep is horribly disrupted. I probably have more nightmares now than I ever did. Um, a lot's happened this year. You know, I lost my partner. I spent six months trying to figure out all the paperwork and trying to figure out all the stuff. And, um, I don't know that I figured out all the stuff. And I'm just trying. So if you're going through what I'm going through, just hang in there. Like it's the best advice I can give you. It's just like inch by inch. I mean, even that just sounds almost hopeless, but that's really the only thing you can do. Find one good thing in, in your day. And there's just a lot right now on my mind. A lot. I'm going through a lot. And I'm trying to figure it all out as I'm going through it. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to get it all figured out. Um, I did go window shopping the other day. I went window shopping a couple days, actually. Um, I went to a thrift store. I went to um, a really big thrift store, actually, where they have everything. It's two floors, and they have everything. And I was looking for a, a meditation tea set, which they didn't have. And um, so I did order one from Timu. It's like the absolute cheapest one I could find, way cheaper than on Amazon um, to do tea meditation. And um, yeah, so I'm waiting on that. And I ordered some pictures from Shutterfly. If you haven't used Shutterfly, um, I guess you can go into Target and print out pictures. You can go into Walmart and print out pictures. I don't know what everybody uses. I use Shutterfly. I don't know cost-wise if they're really effective. If you still print out pictures, let me know what service you use to get your pictures. Um, I ordered 28 four by six glossy pictures and it came to, um, I think it was $17 with, the, with shipping. So um, I'm curious to see um, what anybody else uses. If you would let me know in the comments, I'd appreciate it. Uh, I think that's about it. We, um, um, If he's here with me, and we'll, we might watch a little TV, we sit meditation. If he's here, we sit together. If he's not here, I sit alone. 
He's teaching me Tai Chi. He did his first lesson tonight with me before he left to go off and do what he needs to do for the night. Um, so I learned my first, well, I've got to practice it over and over and over, but my first little bit of Tai Chi. Um, I feel scared a lot. I feel like crying scared a lot. I've been through so much emotion this year. That is, it's a lot on me. You know, I hit, I hit eight months of Sky not being here. And then my six months of trying to figure out everything I was supposed to do. And then um, meeting someone and trying to figure that relationship out. Like, what does this mean? What do I want? Where's this going? It's scary. It's really scary. And I'm tired of scary, you know? I want to do something amazing with my life. I want to do something spectacular. I want to help people. I want to try to figure out how to... It's like I want to... I want to travel across the United States and talk to people about what it's like to have anxiety and panic and what it's like to lose the person you loved to MSA and what it feels like to be a senior woman. I feel like I want to do something with my life. I don't know. I, um, I'm not going to stay on. I'm going to go. I'm going to go get showered. I'm going to uh, probably go and sit a little meditation because I feel like my body needs it. I'm going to practice my Tai Chi. I'm going to do some dance because I didn't get any steps in today and I need my steps. Um, send up some positive vibes for me. I just feel like I really need them. Uh, Halloween, day after tomorrow. And we roll into the uh, third Burr month. Um, September, October, November, December. We're almost in our third Burr month, you guys. Don't forget to set your clocks back at 2 a.m. on Sunday. They fall back this year, this time. So set your clocks. Um, yeah, know that I love you. Thank you for being patient with me on Messenger. Um, I'm not over there as much as I was. It's because my head is just full of so many thoughts and I'm just trying to get my own act together. So um, I'll talk to you soon. I love you guys so much.